Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is January 9th, I'm picking up where I left off in the last episode, and what we had been doing is just working on the save file uh, and getting that tested. It's been a little bit rocky, but you know, what else is new? So what we were, re we were doing was, we just want to assert that it's got a fingerprint uh, at the top of the file that explains what the file is. That fingerprint is our root package name and comma one. Uh, the reason I put the comma one in there is I thought it might be useful for the future, which is not really the you aren't going to need it philosophy of Agile, um, but it's really trivial to put in and doesn't make the code more complex, so I thought it would be okay. So now I just need to make that happen. Um, I've got a bit of code to read what we're putting in there. Now I just need a little bit of code to actually, you know, put it in. So I'm going to grab this and put it in. And I think I can take this out. We need to put some exception handling on it, but I want to test my test. So this should fail saying expected the fingerprint, but was actually the word test. Uh, right, except that this has failed now because we're expecting a particular file size. So we'll come back to that. Uh, that hard-coded assumption is not appropriate. Actually, you know what? Save creates a file. It's not really relevant to us uh, what size that file is. So I'm going to take that assertion out entirely. Uh, this one, however, um, we can just say that the path, the length should not be 0, 4. That's a little bit risky, but... Um, and actually what we can do is just say that it's... Yeah, I don't know, we'll come back to that one. Um, the reason I'm pausing there is that um, it's possible you could append to it, I suppose. So we'll say All right, let's see what happens now. Okay, there we go. That's the error I was expecting. Com James Shore Finances comma one was test. Great. Okay, so now I need to write the actual value. Yeah, there we go. And I don't know how to test for this, but a good Java convention is to use a buffered writer and to always close. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see, how many characters is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 characters. Um, just want to make sure that this is working the way it ought to, and then I'll fix that assumption. Yeah. Okay, so now what we need to do is modify this so that... Um, We don't have that explicit assumption about what's in the file, but we want to make sure that the file doesn't start with the word test. So I think what we can do is we can say, or we can say the file contents are equal to the say file contents, and then we can assert 
uh, true file should have been overwritten and that it's actually or false that the file does not start with test. There. Done. And you know what? I don't think we even need I don't think we even need this delete anymore. I think opening the writer will delete the file. Although I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, it looks like it does. Um, I wonder how we could force it to do otherwise. Uh, Java file writer. Did I? Oh, let's just go here. Something seems to be wrong with the uh, Oracle site. So what I'm trying to do here is purposefully write the code wrong, so it um, so the test fails. So I'm confident that the test actually works. So that should force the test to fail. Yeah, file should have been overwritten, but it wasn't. Good. Okay, so we no longer need to delete, we can just write. Okay. So now, what's next? Well, we have this, we are overwriting an existing file. That's good. Um, Right in the fingerprint, that's good. Now I guess we want to record the starting balance. Um, let's do a little cleanup here though. This should probably be read file. I think that is um, just simpler. And this I'm going to refactor, factor out into a method and call it write file. And it's going to take a string like that. Where did our write file go? There it is. Now we are writing these methods, read file and write file, we're writing them twice. They exist here in save file as well, which makes me wonder if maybe they should either be public methods or maybe we actually have another class in here that we haven't realized yet. I suspect that come the future we're going to realize that we want another class. But that feels like too complex, too much complexity for me right now, so I'm not going to do that just yet. And let's rename that to text. Okay, and this should really be, honestly, I said this is a pretty much exact duplication of what we've got in save file so um, we are probably going to want to come back to that okay so there is the first little piece of this done now we want to say that save writes starting balance. So we've got save creating a file, overwriting the existing file, writes the fingerprint, writes the starting balance. Um, and actually I think what I'm going to do is say that we want this to write the entire contents. I'm going really simple right now. So I'm going to pass in um, Let's go with 123, 
ten twenty four and one hundred twenty five. So, oh, and I keep running into this problem with valid dollars where the uh, constructor is private. But the create method, I believe, can return a dollar, is not a, yeah, not a valid dollar. It's, it's kind of messed up. But now it doesn't feel like the right time to try to solve that. So now I get to design what I want this file format to look like. Um, you know what, let's start out just doing the first part. And I guess the way I want this to look is we'll start with the com James Shore finances comma one as before. And also I mean the simplest approach would be to just do that. So let's just do that to start with. Well, that Eclipse is uh, reformatting for me. Uh, well, let's just do that for now. I like the other way better, but... Okay, so this is going to fail. Well, it's not even going to compile because we don't have this method yet. So let's go ahead and add dollars... Um, what is that? That is the starting balance. That's going to fail. Oh, is it still not compiling? Yeah. Oh, now these guys aren't compiling. Yeah, that's not too surprising. I'm, I'm being a little hacky right now. Um, And that's okay, this will improve substantially as we work on it. Um, so, I don't know how it's going to improve, but that's the way it always goes, is I start out being fairly hacky, and then it improves. Okay, so yeah, the, it, it was expecting the dollar dot $0.23, cents, but it wasn't there. So... Now I can modify this I think just by doing that much. And let's be sure we get that line feed at the end there in our expected result. There we go. Oh, interesting. It doesn't record the cents. Um, right. That's actually an intentional aspect of the, uh, the code. I don't believe it respects the cent values. Let's see what happens when we run it. So if I type in 199, we get 2. It does remember. Uh, interesting. But it remembers it, but it doesn't convert it. If I type 2, 49, hmm, interesting. So the dollars that I have in the text field, that's preserved, but in the, exactly the way I wrote it, but internally it's converted. Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to deal with that. Well, uh, that is already the end of this episode. Um, things are coming along slowly, as they always do. 
if you if your reaction right now is that this code is really nasty, don't worry, I agree. I don't like the file format. I'm really not sure about how the formatting of the string is going. At this point, we're still exploring, so there's a lot more work left to be done in terms of, as we work, letting the construction of the code teach us some new things about how we might want to design it. That's what I'm doing now, is I'm letting the code sort of inform me about design possibilities, and I'm exploring those design possibilities. So, if it seems ugly to you, well, yes, it is. And um, that's normal, and it, I don't think it's possible to write code without having some ugliness, either in your design ahead of time or in your design as you write the code. It's got to happen somewhere. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today, so thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.